In the heart of the Caribbean, where the sun kisses the land and the rhythm of life beats with passion, lies the enchanting island of Puerto Rico. It's here that the captivating story of Esmeralda Santiago begins. Esmeralda lived with both of her parents, Ramona and Pablo, and two younger siblings in extremely poor conditions in Macon, Puerto Rico. Even at a very young age, Esmeralda called by her parents, Negi, often noticed her parents having serious marriage problems and had regular fights resulting in her father abandoning them for longer periods of time. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I am out of here. 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 I am of her children. When they moved to San Juan, Puerto Rico, Esmeralda was mocked for her country accent and mannerisms. Esmeralda's mother gave birth to another child. Just like what happened repeatedly, the family ended up without Pablo. Ramona was pregnant with a boy whom she named Raymond. When Esmeralda was around 10, her mother worked at the local brazier factory. She asked her neighbor Gloria to look after her kids while she's working outside. Her younger brother Raymond injured his foot in a bicycling accident. His wood never healed properly and has worsened, making the local doctor recommend to amputate his foot. Ramona was appalled and refused to accept the doctor's diagnosis. I know this is difficult, Miss Santiago, but his condition has worsened, and amputation is the only way to prevent further complications. No! I can't accept this! There should be another way! There's no other way, Miss Santiago. Ramona made up her mind to bring Raymond to New York to seek for a specialist's advice. Ramona brought all of her children and decided to move to New York. There was no indication of Pablo attempting to stop his family from leaving. It was Esmeralda's first time flying in an airplane traveling to their new home. Esmeralda enrolled in an American public school and fought for her rights to stay in her eighth grade. There, she avoided social interactions and excelled academically. She persevered and learned the English language in just four months. Esmeralda explored her artistic side when a mentor encouraged her to try her future at acting. When she was 14, she auditioned for a performing arts high school, an institution that offers specialized instructions in dance, theater, and cinema. She was still accepted by the school because of her self-confidence. Esmeralda revealed that she attended college and finished her degree at Harvard University. 